Hello all, welcome to Smart Civil Engineer. In today's lecture, we will solve one numerical problem on slope deflection method. Here is the question. A continuous beam ABCD consists of three spans and is loaded as shown in figure. Ends A and D are fixed supports and determining the bending moments at the supports and also draw the bending moment diagram. So here, the three span continuous beam. So first, draw a beam. Three different spans. Here, support A is fixed support. Support D is also fixed support A. This is D and here between A to B 6 meters is given. Suppose this is B support and between these two the length is 6 meters is given and B to C 5 meters and C to D is also 5 meters. This is 5 meter span. This is also 5 meter span but here in this question Three different point loads are acting on three spans. On AB, the UDL, that is 2 kN per meter. And on BC, here the eccentric point load at a distance of 3 meters from B, 2 meters from C. And the load is 5 kN. And on CD, the load is acting at the center that is 8 kN. This is 2.5 meters. This is also 2.5 meters. So this is the question. So in this, have to observe the two things. Three spans having three different point, three different loads and two supports are end supports. So based on that, by using the slope deflection method, you have to find out the bending moments and also draw the bending moment diagram. So in solution, so first, have to write down the given data. So in this given data, first consider, write down the span AB. In span AB, the load is UDL and that load is 2 kN per meter and length of AB is considered as here LAB or L1. So here this L1 is 6 meters. Next in span BC from B to C the load is eccentric point load that is W2. Here that is 5 kN and the, the total length is 5 meters that is L2. This is eccentric point load means that point load is acting not equal lengths. So from here to here the 3 meters is considered as A and 2 meters is B. Unequal lengths, eccentric point load. Next in span CD the load is center point load that is 8 kN and L3 is total 5 meters. So this is the given data. So in slope deflection method we know the step by step process. The first step is calculation of fixed head moments. Second step is slope deflection equation. Third step is equilibrium equations. Fourth one is final moments. So now we will solve the fixed end moments first that is step 1. So put heading the step 1 calculation of fixed end moments. So here you have to consider each span with fixed supports. So here first I am considering span AB. In this span AB first draw the diagram of span AB. We are calculating the fixed end moments. So we have to 
assume the supports also fixed here. This is span AB. Here the load is 2 kN per meter and the length is 6 meters. So this is UDL type of load. Here we will get the fixed end moments from A to B and B to A. And fixed end moment is denoted by M bar AB. So here M bar AB equals to we have formulas for UDL from A to B. This is anti-clockwise moment and from here this is clockwise moment. So from A to B anti-clockwise so negative and the formula for this minus WL square by 12. So just substitute the values W is 2 kN is given and length is 6 meters. So here 2 into 6 square by 12. Then we will get this one as minus 6 kN meter. Here the bend moment so force into perpendicular distance units for this is force kilonewton and the distance is in terms of meters and here the next from b to a so m bar b a is the clockwise moment so here we have the formula is wl square by 12 this is the symmetrical section so we have the same formula for a to b and b to a so same here we'll get the answer as only the change is there is no change in numerical only the sign convention is different next this is span AB similarly consider span BC so first draw the span BC diagram so already we know that that point load is eccentric type of load that eccentric point load is 5 kilo newton and this is 3 meters is given in the question and this is 2 meters this is B and C here also this is anti-clockwise and this is clockwise rotation so in this consider B to C first so fixed in moment from B to C is M bar B C equals to this is eccentric type of point load. We have the formula first B to C is negative as usual due to this direction. And the formula is W A B square by L square. Here the A B is already we know that the distance A is 3 meter and the B is 2 meters. So just substitute the values minus 5 into 3 into 2 square by total length is 5 meters is given so 5 square then we'll get the answer is minus 2.4 kilonewton meter and then this is not an eccentric point load so we have some change in formula that is m bar cd equals to w a square b by l square now 5 into 3 square into 2 by 5 square then here we'll get this as 3.6 kN meter. So this is span BC. Similarly, span CD. The span CD is point load at the center. So it is a symmetrical type and the load is 8 kN. This is C point and D point. M bar CD equals to here same minus wl by 8 minus 8 into 5 by 8 that will get here is minus 5 kilo newton meter similarly m bar dc equals to only th this is symmetrical so we have same formula only the sign convention is different so here this as plus 5 kN meter. So these are the fixed end moments of span AB, span BC, span CD. In each span, we will get two different fixed end moments from if in case the span AB, we will get the fixed end moment from A to B and B to A. Next, this is step 1 and coming to the step 2 is slope deflection equation. So for this, have to write down the slope deflection equations based on these spans. In this, 
for each span we will get two slope deflection equations second step slope deflection equations in the slope deflection equations first you have to consider span AB in this span AB we will get slope deflection equation from A to B and same as just from B to A so M A B equals to M bar A B plus 2 E I by L 2 theta A plus theta B minus 3 delta by L. This is the equation for span A to B. So already we calculated that M bar A B value in first step. We will get M bar A B is minus 6. Just write down that value here. And 2 E I by and length of A B is once cross check here the value of A B is minus 6 and length is 6 meters. So substitute the value of length of A B here 6 and theta A. Here the theta, theta A is fixed support because uh, in the question he is given support A is fixed. So at that fixed support there is no slope. So here you can write down the theta A equals to 0 and there is no sinking of the support. So you can consider delta A is also 0. So in this, this theta A is 0 and this delta A is also 0. Directly you can write down that as the remaining term is theta B. So M A B equals to, this is the final equation, minus 6 plus E I theta B by 3. E I theta B by 3. This is equation 1. Similarly, write down the slope deflection equation on span B to A. So here, M bar B A plus 2 E I by L B A. And here, we will start from B. So, we will get the double the slope from this point. Means theta A plus 2 theta b minus 3 delta by l. So here also theta a is 0 because due to the fixed support and delta is 0. There is no sinking of support. Here m bar b a is 6, 2 e a by 6 into 2 theta b. So from this m b a is 6 plus 2 e i theta b by 3. This is equation number 2. This is m b a. So these two are the slope deflection equations in span a b. Now coming to span b c. Here this is span b c. For span b c same write down the equations from b to c first. M B C equals to M bar B C plus 2 E I by L B C into 2 theta B plus theta C minus 3 delta by L. In this, the theta B and theta C are intermediate supports. At this intermediate supports, we have some slope. So, these two values are not 0. And there is no sinking of the support in the equation. So you can put the delta as 0. Now substitute M bar BC. Already we calculated this is in first, uh, first step. Calculation of fixed end moment. So here 2.4 and 2 EI by L BC is 5 meters is given. So 2 theta B plus theta C. So here M BC equal to minus 2.4 plus 4 e i theta b by 5 plus 2 e i theta c by 5. This is equation 3. Already two equation number is for span a b. Now similarly write down the slope deflection equation from c to b. So for c to b m bar c b plus 
टू ई बै एल सी बी टीटा बी प्लस टू टीटा सी मैनस थ्री डेलटा बै एल here also there is no sinking of the support if in the question is given the sinking of the support then you can and mention this delta value otherwise you can take this delta as 0 and m bar cb is 3.6 to e i by 5 theta b plus 2 theta c now finally m cb equals to 3.6 plus 2 ei theta b by 5 plus 4 ei theta c by 5 this is equation number 4 now consider the next span span cd in span cd m cd equals to m bar cd plus 2 ei by L C D, 2 theta C plus theta D minus 3 delta by L. So here also you can put this delta as zero and theta D is also zero because the support D is fixed support. There is no slope at that support. So here theta D equals to zero and delta is also zero. Substitute the remaining values here. We calculated this fixed end moment on C D and D C. So this is minus five plus two e i by length of c d is five, so two theta c. So here minus five plus four e i theta c by five. This is equation number five. The next one is m d c for that m bar d c plus Two e i by l d c, two theta d plus theta c minus three delta by l. Here the delta is zero and theta d is also zero. Just put substitute the values of fixed end moments. Then we'll get that equation as this one. So this is equation number six. So up to this step one and step two is over. In step one, calculation of fixed end moments is step two, slope deflection equations. Now coming to the third step, equilibrium equations. So in the question, this is intermediate supports are B and C. So this is three span problem. Here the intermediate supports at B and C. So you have to apply the equilibrium condition at joint B and at joint C. Because the two unknowns are there, so one is in this theta a is zero, theta d is zero. We have to know this theta b and theta c. Two unknowns, so we have to apply the equilibrium condition at this joint b and at this joint c. Now, the step three is equilibrium condition. Or oh, write down the equilibrium equations in this equilibrium equations first i am considering joint b for this joint b so what is equilibrium condition is from joint b it is a and this c So we know the slope deflection equations for this. So m b a plus m b c equals to zero. I have to add these two right and left moments. Then we'll get that as zero. That is in equilibrium. M b a plus m b c equals to zero. We already know that equations of m b a and m b c. M b a is nothing but equation two. M b c is equation three. So here. This is M B A six plus two by three e e i theta b by three this is B C minus two point four plus four e i theta b by 
See, now we have to substitute those two equations in this. So, 6 plus 2EI theta B by 3 plus and here the MBC is minus 2.4 plus 4 EI theta B by minus 2.4 BC is 4A theta B by 5, 2A theta C by 5. Just write down that equations, substitute in that. Here one more thing I am adding. If in case in the question, suppose the cross sections is also different than suppose the cross section of AB is same I, but the cross section of BC is 2I. Here I am including this one, 2I and this is I. So, while substituting in this, you can put that in place of I on MB to C. The cross section is given as 2I. So, in place of i means 2 e i by 5 we know that in i plus you can put that as 2 i because on bc section the cross section is, is given as 2 i then we know that 2 theta b plus theta c equal to 0 now 6 plus 2EI theta B by 3 plus minus 2.4 plus 4EI theta B by 5 then 2 theta B plus theta C equal to 0. Now this equation simplify this equation. Write down that equation as here the 2EI theta B into 2 means 4 into 2 is 8, 8 by 5 and 2 by 3 is here directly we will get that as 34 EI theta B by 15 plus 4 EI theta C by 5 and here the 6 minus 2.4 is plus 3.6 equals to 0. This is equation number 7. Now coming to join C. In join C, same write down the equilibrium equation from C to B plus C to D equals to 0. So here C to B is 3.6 plus same as it is here substitute that in i plus 2i because on cb section we have 2i so directly i am writing this as 8 ei theta c by 5 plus 4 ei theta b by 5 plus mcd is minus 5 plus 4 ei theta c by 5 equals to 0 so from this equation, we will solve this one. Then we will get here 3.6 minus 5 is minus 1.4 plus 4 EI theta B by 5. 8 by 5 plus 4 by 5 means here this as 12 by 5. EI theta C equals to 0. This is equation number 8. By solving this equation 7 and 8, in this 7 and 8, we have the two unknowns that is theta b and theta c. So, by solving equations 7 and 8, from this we get ei theta b value and ei theta c value. ei theta b is minus 2.03 kilonewton, sorry, 2.03. 3. This is if in case in the question he is given the EI, here you can substitute that EI also. 
in this question there is no ei values so directly i'll get this write down this ei theta b and ei theta c this is 1.26 these two values are from equation 7 and 2 by solving these two equations so now step 4 this is the final step final moments calculation of final moments in this final moments calculation so already we have slope deflection equations so by substituting the values of substituting the values of ei theta b and ei theta c in equations 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6. So now first equation, already we know that the first equation, m a b equals to minus 6 plus 2 e i theta b by e i theta b by 3. So that is e i theta is minus 2.03 by 3. We will solve this one, then we will get minus 6.68 kilo newton meter. And equation 2 is MBA that is plus 6 plus 2 by 3 of EI theta B. So here we will get this as 4.65 kilonewton meter. Now MBC equals to in this equation minus 2.4 plus the equation is 4 by 5 minus 4 e i theta b by 5 2 theta b and theta c. So 2 theta b means 2 into 0 2.03 plus e i theta c is 1.26. By solving this one, we will get that as minus 4.65 kilonewton meter. And similarly, m c b equals to this is 3.6 plus 4 by 5 ei theta b plus 2 ei theta c ei theta b means 2.03 plus 2 ei theta c means 2 into 1.26 that equal to 3.99 kilonewton meter now m c d equals to minus 5 plus 4 ei theta c by 3 means sorry 5 it is 3.99 kilonewton meter. Similarly, MBC equals to plus 5, 2 by 5, EI theta C. Then here we will get this as 5.5 kilonewton meter. So these are the final moments. Now here you can check the join B and join C. Join B is connected with B to A and B to C. Now here you can observe this 4.6 and minus 4.6. We have to add these two then we will get that as 0. That is equilibrium condition. And at the join C also C to B and C to D. C to B will get the, this is as uh, 3.9. And this at, at this portion this as minus 3.9. So we will get these two as equal to 0. Now the last final one is to draw the bending moment diagram to calculate the free bending moment values so for that step y is free bending moment values so first span a b on span a b the udl is given so for udl you can assume the free bending moment that as simply supported b so simply supported the maximum bending moment for udl is wl square by 8 so 2 into 6 square by 8 so that is 9 kilonewton meter and coming to span bc that is eccentric point load is given wab by l so here 5 into 3 into 2 by 5 means it is 6 kilonewton meter and similarly span cd that is point load at the center so wl by 4 so 8 into 5 by 4, 10 kilonewton meter. So these are the final moments and free bending moment values. Now here you can draw the figure. So in this, let's draw the given 
figure a to b b to c and c to d this is udl is given and this is eccentric point load this is point load at the center 8 kilonewton 5 kilonewton 2 kilonewton per meter and length 6 meter 5 meter and 5 meter now here you have to draw the figure so in this first draw the along the supports and draw a baseline first then draw the final moments first so we have the final moments of m a b and m b a m a b is minus 6.68 and m b a is 4.65 And MBC is MCD is 3.99 and next MDC is 5.5 means between these two. So here you can mention as per the use 5.5. These are the this diagram is based on the final moments final moments it is a total straight line now similarly draw the bending moment based on the now once here observe the final moments based on the final moments is over now the free bending moment values on span A, B is 9, 6, 10. So here on UDL case, the free bending moment diagram is the parabola. So it is 9 above the line. It is a parabolic line. And now at point 5 meters distance, here we'll get that as 6 means below this point. It is a straight line. Now similarly, at this portion, here we'll get that as 10 kilo newton meter and it is also on triangle. From here to here, it is a straight line and from here to here also, it is a straight line. So now, this is at the end support above below this line is the negative and above that line is positive so it is in this case this is negative this is positive bending moment negative positive negative and positive and negative here you can observe this at the supports will get the negative bending moment a diagram so this is positive negative positive negative so this is the total final bending moment diagram for the given span by using the slope deflection method thank you